I'm here at HPE Discover in Las Vegas with Jeff Lyon, and one of the challenges that IoT brings to the table is there are lots and lots of devices, and yeah, managing those devices is a bit of a challenge because you either need lots and lots of experts or you need to dumb down the install process to the point where part of the people that do the work don't need to know what they're doing. And it sounds like that's yeah. kind of the direction uh, this solution you're demonstrating here uh, has going. Yeah, yeah, what, what we're trying to do is make the make the installation of the devices as simple as possible and make the management and the configuration of those devices as simple as possible. Um, we want to get to the point where um, all, all the end user has to do is plug the device in, provide power, provide a network connection, and then the device will essentially then phone home to a back-end service where we, we ha and that back-end service includes all the configuration information that the devices need. Um, what, what actions they need to take to configure themselves, and once once that stage is complete, then it, then it, we, it then we instruct the device where, where to go and get the applications that we want to actually run on the device. So it becomes kind of a seamless process from the end user's point of view. We're trying to automate that whole process of going from power up to deploying the application on the device itself. So we're, we're kind of pushing the configuration from the device to a backend service that can be centrally managed. So how are you, what are you doing uh, behind the scenes to make that easy? So behind the scenes, I mean, this is one of our devices as an example. So when it wakes up, it reaches out over a secure WebSocket connection to the back end. The back end has all of the information that we need, either for each device or for a model of device. So for example, um, this is a Raspberry Pi, so that we can show we can do this for third party devices. Um, all of the Pis in my frame, they all they all do the same configuration steps. So they, some of the configuration information is, uh, if you like, shared across uh, all, all models of the same device. Um, other pieces, of it, other, other parts of the configuration, particularly the applications you're running, they might be unique to each device. So we kind of filter and process all of that in the back end to make sure that each device is actually doing what the user wants it to do. It's running the applications that it wants to and that the, the, the appropriate configuration data is on that device so that it can ident properly identify itself and, and execute correctly. So in the, the example that you've got here is there's there's four, and I don't know how visible this is on camera, but there's four <laughs> there's four cameras behind us yeah. all connected to Raspberry Pis. Yeah. And so what's the scenario where like, let's say, um, you know, I have a, a warehouse where I want to have monitoring and I have somebody mm -hmm. go plug these cameras in. What's the scenario look like for something like that? So for that, you, you, you would deploy the devices themselves. They would all power up. And as long as those devices can see a common backend, and that backend could be cloud hosted or it could be an, an appliance, say for example, one of our microservers in the same same warehouse, um, and then th that device or that service has all the information we need, all the applications we need, and then it, it just it just sends those out to each device on request, and each device initiates the connection. So we use a secure a secure and persistent WebSocket connection between the device and the backend. Um, so all of the data flows encrypted, it's all secure, uh, and the application deployment and the configuration all kind of sits within that secure tunnel. So uh, at that point, you know, the applications just deploy. If you want to update the application itself, we you can change things in the back end. The device can then re-register and re-update what it needs to do. Um, so at this point, um, as long as the application that we deploy is containerized, um, and it's, it's, it's one or more Docker containers that we deploy to each device, then we're good to go. So we, we, we're agnostic in terms of what that end application is. As long as it can be containerized, we can deploy it with our provisioning tools. That, that's pretty awesome. I, I wish I would have had this like 20 years ago when I was a field engineer. <laughs> okay, well, we're trying to get it out there at some point. All right, thanks, Jeff. Okay, thanks.